Now, it's been nearly a year since Israeli startup Space IL announced its second lunar mission, the Bereshit 2, and it's slated to be launched into space towards the end of 2024. But until then, Space IL is issuing an open call for proposals, asking international bodies from all over the globe to submit their experiments for a chance to hitch a ride out of orbit. Aerospace correspondent for SeaTech by Kalkalist Yafit Ovadia joins us with more. Yafit, it is a pleasure to have you back with us. Thank you so much. It's good to be back. All right, so my first question, you know, what are the new developments concerning the Bereshit? Well, first of all, uh, Space IL has managed to raise the requisite funding of $70 million, so now they can begin uh, construction of the craft. Wow. And second of all, um, the shift and focus of the second Bereshit mission is different. It has shifted from that of the first. The first was mainly focused on Israel, mm -hmm. and it didn't really contain any experiments on board, just some patriotic paraphernalia. <laughs> but the second, on the other hand, is open to other countries, allowing them to send their experiments and ideas to space. I guess it's probably for the best things how the first one had a rocky landing. Yes, you could say that. Um, so, you know, what, what about maybe some new developments concerning astronauts? Uh, concerning, uh, concerning Eitan Steva, mm. well, he's been quite busy. Uh, he's been spending time uh, in Florida and in Texas at the NASA training facilities and also at the SpaceX training facilities um, with the rest of his crew. Um, he's been trying out the zero gravity machine and he's also met with a lot of experts in Israel who are representatives from some of the companies whose experiments he's going to be taking with him to the space station. And probably the most exciting of all, a uh, final date for his flight was just announced. It will be February 2nd, 2022. Have an official date then. That is do. spectacular. All right. Yes. Uh, back to the experiments. You know, what kinds of experiments are, are we looking to send with mm -hmm. Bereshit? What, what maybe are the experiments that are best suited for the moon? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, um, they can either fit and be on board the landers mm. or on the orbiter. Recall it's a three-part sure. spacecraft. So those geared for the orbiter um, need to study stuff on the ground. So that would be lunar soil, astrobiology, uh, lunar environmental conditions, even lunar sustainability, how humans can produce food and water from the moon, and those can last up to 72 hours, while the ones geared toward the lander have a slightly longer lifespan. They can last between two and five years because the orbiter plans on being in operation for that time, and they'll study um, the moon from a distance, so remote in areas such as remote sensing or the lunar orbit. How many people have applied? What kinds of experiments are maybe already uh, under review, and when's the deadline? Okay, well, the deadline is November 15th, and oh, wow. the winners will be announced in one month after that, so in December. It's open to pretty much any academic institution or university, research. No, even, no individuals who just happen to be super awesome and, and smart and submit something? Worthy. Unfortunately not, but it's also open to companies who have groundbreaking okay. ideas. Um, and of course, those um, organizations have to be, in some sense, have some type of diplomatic relationship with Israel. Well, I think we have a lot to look forward to, especially uh, in November and December when we start to see what these uh, experiments will be. And of course, mm -hmm. very excited for uh, Eitan Stibe. Yes. Yafit, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.